Johnston. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those of us that are fortunate enough to have uh, the privilege of representing constituency seats, particularly in rural and provincial New Zealand, often hear from constituents who use words like inefficient, cumbersome, inconsistent, slow, inflexible, bureaucratic. And it's not just that they're just talking about the opposition. It's not just that they're talking about the opposition, Mr Speaker. They are talking about words that describe our resource management legislation. And those are words that used to describe the opposition and our resource management legislation. So tomorrow, Mr Speaker, in this House, the member who represents the Nelson electorate and who also is the Minister for the Environment, the Honourable Nick Smith, is going to introduce phase two of this national government's reform of the RMA. And that's going to be wonderful legislation. It means that uh, a solid, pragmatic and sensible approach to RMA reform is going to be finally introduced into this House and it's much needed and much overdue because this phase two legislation we had wanted to introduce, Mr Speaker, actually some time before uh, this, in this parliament. Um, the announcement came last week, and it's been interesting to see that uh, across the country, uh, support and encouragement for this legislation being introduced has been welcomed by a whole range of interested stakeholders. Not least of all has been local government. And they have, in fact, responded incredibly positively to the introduction of the, this legislation. And the introduction of this legislation tomorrow, Mr Speaker, shows how effectively that this national-led government relates to and uh, uh, organises itself and engages uh, its partners across the House. And so I want to thank and encourage members of the Maori Party and the ACT Party, the ACT Party MP, who are going to support us in this bill. And I was pleased to see that belatedly Order. the Labour Party have decided to, in fact, uh, support this bill to first reading. And I take that as a very positive sign, a very positive sign indeed. But one that we'll be wanting to watch with particular interest tomorrow at the first reading will be what are the intentions of New Zealand First? Because less than a year ago, sir, up in Northland, the Right Honourable Winston Peters was campaigning to the people of Northland in a provincial rural seat, a seat where people do get uh, complaints about the RMA. And Winston Peters was campaigning, campaigning in that by-election and he was saying, I will support sensible RMA reform. And Winston now has an opportunity to come to this House tomorrow and encourage his party, his supporters, on behalf of the people of Northland, who will benefit from an improved RMA legislative environment, will he do it? Will the proof of the pudding be in the voting tomorrow? Will the proof of the pudding be in the voting? And we are yet to wait and see what that will be. So. Uh, tomorrow, we expect that because the people of Northland will be the poor sort of people that will benefit from this legislation, that New Zealand First and uh, the Right Honourable Winston Peters will, I'm sure, uh, be supportive of this legislation. Sir, so planning processes of the RMA are, we all know, uh, occurring at glacial speed. They occur incredibly slowly. They occur at a speed that prohibits development, and it actually disincentivises people from making uh, development decisions, from progressing their businesses, growing their enterprises, uh, creating jobs, and creating a growing economy. So, what this piece of legislation seeks to do is actually to streamline and to smooth out some of those processes. Uh, we had an operation uh, going through the, uh, through the country a, a month or two or three or four ago, led by my colleague and friend Jackie Dean, called the Task um, the task force, the Rules Reduction Task Force, that was it, the Rules Reduction, and they published this great paper about loopy rules, great paper about loopy rules. And I'm pleased to say, Mr Speaker, that many of those loopy rules are going to be fixed by this piece of legislation. And the Rules Reduction Task Force has done a very, very good job. So standard planning templates will be introduced as part of this reform. And just to give you some idea, or give the House some idea, Mr Speaker, of some of the benefits that will come from this, currently I'm told that there are 242 definitions as to what could be described as a commercial zone. 
Now that certainty can't create certainty in the uh, environment that we want to be part of. So sir, I'm looking forward tomorrow to the introduction of this second phase of our RMA reform. I'm looking forward to support across the House from uh, parties like Labor, like Maori, the Maori Party, like ACT, and certainly, hopefully, like New Zealand First. So it'll be good legislation. I'm chairing the select committee. Bring it on. It's going to be a great bill. Yeah.